Hello and welcome to Audio Adventures, a real play homebrewed podcast that is made by friends, with friends, and for friends. Last time with our wandering vanguard, our party crawled their way through the large underground of the Daro game show, infiltrating before its release. Rio is trying to lead them out and back to safety, but Tibral felt the golden snapdragon's power in the air. And Nyx stole a whole storage room full of weapons and resources. Will the party make it out without detection? What will Nyx do with all of his stolen goods? Will Tibral finally get his hands on that golden snapdragon he is searching for? Well, we can't find out if we stay here. Now, let's hop into the portal. Audio Adventures is a D&D 5th edition homebrewed podcast and may deal with triggering themes at times. Viewer discretion is advised. Trigger warnings can be found in the description. With that, we're going to cut over to the other group with uh, Tibral. You are running down um, the other direction towards the 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 large arcana, the the arcana bleep that you're feeling essentially. The blip. The, the blip. blip. Right. Um, you're running down a long hallway and upcoming uh you can continue going straight as you're going or you can take another right you just feel the arcana blip sort of is a little higher in the air Mm -hmm. and just deeper in that's all you get can i make a survival check to kind of see if maybe i can find find the path the correct path you can try. I like him. Here's the D20. So, Sam, I think it's a fail. I rolled a 2 plus 6. No, two, 2 plus 5. For I'm a survival sorry. check? Yeah. You have no idea where you're going. Besides in, in a singular direction. Okay. I'm going to look both ways. I'm going to pick to go right first. Oh, wait, can I make an arcana check? Go ahead. Okay. Guys, don't fail me now. <gasps> Ooh, okay. That's if it makes you feel any better, Emma, we all, all I, Tibral knows is a general direction. 24. Um, you kind of lay, search, um, close your eyes, and feel a similar direction um and you get you feel like he on a whim picked the correct hallway to go down hey yo good (laughs) yeah yo look at that i'm just gonna feel it out we're just gonna feel it out (laughs) and as all of you quickly and quietly run through this underground complex uh where you're you're kind of looking, you look up and you see above you through some slats in the ceiling that Ooh. every so often as you run past, you see a pyramid? What? A golden pyramid off in the distance above you. Is that the uh, where I'm sensing the thing? No. Okay, cool. Just making sure. Um, you feel that it is a little, even a little bit higher than that pyramid. Okay. And Rio's going to whisper theater scream up to you. Where are we trying to go? What is... What are we trying to do again? What? I, I'm still like, just kind of like leading the pack, just kind of like looking back and forth, trying to or trying to find the fastest way to that point, to the feeling I got. Shouldn't we just go through one of the grates that are above us? Oh wait, do we have? Are they like? I thought they were just like, just to look through grates. Can we like push them up? You can try. Oh, uh, well, I'm not strong. Uh, I can try though. I can try <laughs> to push one up. They are, uh, a, like two feet higher than what <gasps> you can reach. So if wait, you want wait. someone to lift you up, wait, wait, do do my arms reach? Yeah, your arms would reach, too. Yes! Can I try? Go ahead. Ooh. Let's see how this goes. Okay, that's that's not bad. Just a straight strength check? Yeah. 
Okay, I rolled a 14. So these, uh, these wooden panels seem to be, uh, integrated into the field, a field of some sort, of the above mm-hmm. ground, and used, uh, for the employees probably down below to see what was going on, sort of like, you know, like a television down below, you can see what's happening. Mm-hmm. They don't, they don't have televisions down here. Oh, okay. They're probably, so people just look up and they're like, oh. That's neat. Um, <laughs> so th- they're kind of flimsy. They also kind of use as traps for the competitors to fall through and break their limbs. Mm-hmm. So you easily just break through from the other side. Am I tall enough to see anything? Could you, or... could you p- put Tibril on your shoulders? Yeah, I could, <laughs> I could try that. Are you uh, just going to start climbing up on my shoulders? I'm or... going to ask if I can climb up on your shoulders. <laughs> I nod. Okay, I'm going to start climbing up on your shoulders. And like do like stand on his shoulders thing where he grabs my feet. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, you, with the help of this newly golden tomb, uh, mm-hmm. you dip and weave into the part that is broken and your head kind of goes up and through this this floor and you groundhog up and you look around and you see a coliseum sort of stand thing Mm -hmm. Uh, and Mm -hmm. up above the world so high is a uh, glass and case office and a tower that you get a feeling might be it is there any like door into that tower or does it just look like walls on the Colosseum? It looks like you remember at the gala the video that your dad played mm-hmm. uh, and you see flashes of a pyramid a gladiator fighting pit and off to the left way off is a large treadmill spiky death looking contraption and various other things that are in the process of being built, but you guys came at such a weird moment for this show that there's, like, no one here. But you look up and you remember that your father um, came out of the glass-encased um, office from, uh, from glass-sliding doors that he flew out of and down. So we gotta get up. So, like, he flew down? Yeah, he flew. Well, seems like that's where we need to go. And there doesn't seem to be any, like, staircase or um, way to climb up. None that you see right now. How tall is it? Um, it's above the world. Uh, probably about 80, 70, 80 feet. Whoa. It has a good vantage point over the entire field. Hmm. Um, I might have an idea. How far underneath it are we? Or are we not underneath it at all? Um, you are, you're not underneath it. You see it from like a 45 distance off and to the, from the back of the field. You're Mm -hmm. more near the pyramid, which is in the back of the field near the back of the stadium. Mm Mm-hmm. I'm going to start, like, working my way down. (sighs) Well, it's up there. Does anybody know how to make make someone fly? Out of character. Could I use Bigby's hand to carry someone up there? Hello? 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 Sorry, I thought I was muted. Uh, there you go. I'll let Emma go first. Toon go first. Hey. I was just wondering, because I have, I have the spell Big B's hand, but I don't know if I can, like, carry someone up. Uh, what does Big B's hand say? It says. So you got 
Okay, Big B's hand. Large hand, shimmery, translucent force. Mm -hmm. Last for a spell's duration. That's so for six seconds. That's a range of 120 feet. Um. Oh, but it only lasts up to a minute. Unless it's hand strength oh, up perfect. to a minute. Okay. Because there's a there's a grasping hand. Mm-hmm. Which is just on to me and then. Yeah. The target takes bludgeoning damage equal to 2d6. Mm. Yeah. Clinch with the hand. No force. The hand attempts to push it. Could you say the forceful hand to push it in, well, within five feet in the direction mm. you choose? So up. Oh no, it pushes it five feet. Yeah. I don't know if that'll work. Depends on how you want to do it. Mm hmm. Uh, I could, I, we what have, are you gonna say, Zach? Yeah, Travis Ooh. Ooh. How far does that reach? Uh. It says I have spell, doesn't look at spell. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, now I can pick up two. Uh, oh, that's right, I forgot. Uh. Up to 30 feet in any direction. We need an 80. We need like 80 feet. 80 feet? Hmm. Uh? Could I use Big B's pan to get you up part of the way and then Tavis uses telekinesis to get you the rest of the way? Well, I'm saying, like, we have that extra 15 hit points. I could just take the grappling damage. Yeah. Um, because that's not over 15. Um, That's true. Oh no, plus your spellcasting modifier. What's your spellcasting modifier? Spellcasting modifier is... 15. What's the plus? Oh, seven. <laughs> plus seven? Okay. So mm -hmm. I, maximum... So 12 plus seven. The most I'd take is 19. Which, Tibral can survive that. Okay. If you just do that and I just not fight it until we get to the top and then you let me go. Yeah, you like to spell it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we could do that. I'm fine with that if we want to do that. Yeah. Okay, sir. We got this. Alrighty. You're putting your life in the palms of my hands. In the oh, palm man. of Big, B Big B's hands. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> Could I just do it from here, like in the little well, hallway? Yeah, do it in here and let's break through the floor. Because, it, well, it's pushed through pretty much. All right, so I'm going to say right now you are at the back of the field. The, the mm -hmm. office is at the front of the field, 70 to 80 feet up. Okay. This has a range and of 120 feet. And across mm -hmm. the field. So you're going to move diagonally, probably. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Will that be enough? Because 80 feet up, and then if we it's at a 45 degree angle, I can't math right now, but I think that's um, still under 100. Well, could you just walk the yeah, length could, of the arena, you, and then I use? Get me up there, yeah. Get me up there, and I can do that. And I can do that. If anything, you'll just get there. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't think it'll surpass, or it'll be right. really close. Right, and I can, and at that last little bit, I can like fling my glaive and blink. That's right. I thought I forgot you could do that. All right. So what are we doing? Okay, we're gonna. I'm gonna cast. Do you want me to get closer? Uh, let me check though. No, cause it has to be within. Um, I have to be able to see you, and I don't know if I'll be able to see you. Okay. If you do that. So. Thank you guys so much for helping. First, get back on my shoulders. Like, get me back on my shoulders? On your mm -hmm. shoulders? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I'll do it from there. Um, before you do it, thank you guys so much for helping me out. Um, but I understand once I get up there, if you uh, want to leave, get out of here. I'll, I'll get out. I nod no. 
You nod no? Yeah, I'm not leaving. Nod no. I'm not leaving either. No, I should say I shake my head no. <laughs> that's, that's correct. That's correct. Okay. Well, but, like I said, if you guys want to get going, I understand. I look over to Red Getz and Rio and Virgil. You know what I'm about. Yeah. I'm gonna see it through to the end, buddy. <laughs> All right. Let's do this. Okay. I've never heard anybody say buddy so fakely. Mm-hmm. I know. <laughs> buddy. <laughs> oh, gosh. Buddy. And before you uh, uh, go, uh, Ekman will come up and hug you very tightly. Oh, you. And he's going to whisper into your ear. Better not fucking die. <laughs> you think I would? You think I'd leave you alone? Yes. <laughs> Accidentally. <laughs> <laughs> Accidentally. Oh. I'm going to hug him back. Don't worry. I'll, I'll come back safe. Mm, I'll kiss you on the cheek. I'm going to fall out, grab him again and kiss him again. And he's like, wow. <laughs> uh, it's very cute. I'm going to pull him in and hug again. Keep an eye on Red Guest. Mm, okay. And he's just kind of smiling now. <laughs> well, beat me up, Tomb. <laughs> I nod, and I, I do so. How much damage do I take? I'm not fighting it. You take 15. Ow. Ow. Hey, exactly. Hey. Sorry. Exactly. No, it's all good. <laughs> it's all good. It's all Gucci. It's all Gucci, gang. So you are grasped by this large enveloping spectral hand that is tinted green and gold. Oof. And it crunches you and you hear like a <laughs> as it closes and it's like oh, oh. Kind of, you, and it knocks the breath out of you and you could have and you and you can tell that the the food that you ate earlier definitely saved you some heartache. And then as you realize that you are shunted, punched through the floor and up uh, about three fourths of the way before the hand spectrally disappears um, and you're at, sailing through the sky. At, so once I get am I like still going at the same speed I was going before? You are basically thrown. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you 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 have a velocity that's still going up, but you're kind of reaching the peak of it, and you're kind of curving down. Once I get close, or once I am in, if, will I be able to get in within? I think it's forty feet, thirty feet. Let me double check. I think it's thirty feet. Yeah. But would I be in yeah, range think... to throw throw my blade? Yeah, I think you're you're oh, about no, sixty feet. I can throw it sixty feet. Yeah, you're within that. Cool. I'm going to yeet my uh, my um, glaive um, yeah, on, you... onto it and going to spin a focus point to. Cool. Um, do you yeet it through the glass window or into the oh, gosh. wooden panel signing sighting? Um, or... I don't wherever it doesn't make a ruckus where I could still like land onto something. So would, it would 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 the safest be through the glass? Well, I guess it's not, it's spectral, so it would go through it. So, you uh, you can... it. okay, yeah, yeah, that's true. I'd go through the glass and then onto whatever floor there is. You, the spectral glaive appear apparates in your hand. It shines and it goes right into a mahogany desk, of mm-hmm. which you see Almendaro Junior sitting <gasps> behind, <laughs> as you are blinked. <gasps> right in front of him and he throws the papers up that he had in his hands as all of you hear uh, uh, oh, uh, no. uh, uh, as a fire alarm starts to go oh. off and oh. you and you, and Almondaro Jr. looks up how's it going dad? and then he makes eye contact and says dad? 
Uh, that's where we're gonna stop. Wait, he says dad? Oh no, he says uh, dad. Like a question. Oh, okay. I was like, wait, did he... what? Dad? I am my dad's dad. Grandpa. Grandpa. I'm my own grandpa. Okay, guys. I'm. The next time we level up, I'm gonna need some help with the warlock thing. Speaking of leveling up, do that. Yes! I need help with the 13. warlock thing. 13 boys! Warlock, warlock, warlock. How do I do this? I don't know. And that was this episode of Audio Adventures. Thank you so much for being here. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And most of all, please share to get out the word so we can share our story with you and keep doing what we're doing. If you have an idea for an NPC, a shop, or even an encounter, please comment down below. You might be seeing any of those in the next session or maybe even the upcoming sessions. Again, thank you so much for being here, and we will see you next week. Please stay safe, everyone, and wear those seatbelts.